Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So today we are going to talk about XPath in Playwright. As we know that XPath is a kind of locator, is the address of the element inside the HTML DOM. And there are various types of XPath we can create like absolute XPath, relative XPath, we can customize XPath. There are various options are available in XPath, XPath X is also we can do that. So Playwright supports everything, whatever you do in normal XPath with other tools, exactly same thing you can do with Playwright also. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of examples. I'm not going to teach you that how to create the XPath. There are various videos that is already available. I'll share the link of that particular video that how to become genius in XPath on my channel, which is already available. Just go through it if you really want to get the mastery on XPath. But I'll give you some really good examples how to write XPath and then how to use XPath in Playwright. For example, let's say this is the Amazon.com page. So I'm going to launch this particular page. Let's see Amazon.com. So instead of this URL, I'll be using Amazon.com. And on Amazon.com, let's see, I'll inspect this guy. This is the search field. And then now you don't need to use the Playwright uh, locator. You can just directly come here the way you do normally uh, input id equal to this press ctrl f create your own xpath you can use selectors hub also to get the xpath you can use that so for example let's say this is an input id i really want to create an xpath on the basis of the any attribute so double slash input where at the rate id equal to this so this is the xpath got created here let's see and then i really want to use the same xpath here so how will you use this same thing you have to use this method page dot locator and then you have to pass the xpath string with a prefix like this xpath equal to and whatever the xpath is there you have to write it so this is not mandatory to write but if you really want to write xpath equal to this you can write it like this and then playwright will understand okay fine this is the xpath that you are writing it this is also it's valid so let's say i'm just entering once uh, a fill value that i'm going to write that is fill i'm going to enter a macbook pro here right so let's see if this is working or not so run as a java application it's actually macbook not macboom whatever it is so let's see this is entering the value or not so once the page is fully loaded it will see the value got entered here let it make it to macbook only now at the same time what you can do is that if you really want to don't want to use xpath equal to you can use it like this as well so playwright will consider okay yeah this is xpath because it's starting with the two forward slash which is the syntax of xpath so if you are not comfortable with xpath equal to you can directly write the normal we write it in selenium exactly same thing you can write it in playwright also so let's see with this thing also it is working or not so here you can see once the page is fully loaded you can see macbook pro got entered over here perfect so like this you can use this now some more example let's see i'll just going to show you that all contains starts with everything will work over here text function also will work over here for example let's say if you really want to uh, inspect something else so let's uh, do this uh, for example let's see get to know us or let's see about amazon so i'm looking for all those uh, locators all those text element which are available on the page having the text with amazon so what you can do you can just create one uh, xpath let's see inspect it and then press ctrl f i'm looking for all the links let's see and uh, which contains what see i'm using contains this time which contains the text right the text is what the text is amazon okay so this is the xpath there are 23 elements are available it means give me the text of all those uh, links which are available on the page which contains amazon okay so in this case what will happen let's see i'm going to use it so right now this will give you 23 or more than one element so in that case i'll be using page dot locator once again here like this and i don't want to perform anything and then you just store inside the locator so let's see store inside the locator variable so i'm saying that okay this is a total amazon links is equal to this import your locator because this time this is just like driver dot find elements we do it in selenium and uh, i really want to capture that how many links are available on the page so in that case i simply say okay find total links dot and then you can use all inner text and all text content also you can use this see this and then you can directly write the count method also if you really want to get the total number of links which are having amazon 
so I'll just directly print it on the console uh, how many total links are available on the page having Amazon and then after that I want to use the same text dot and let's see all inner text method that I'm going to use it this will give you a list of a string it means give me the text of each and every link from this particular locator so that will give you a list of a string here right in selenium we have driver dot find elements method which will return list of every element here as such we don't have that this is a complete locator we will get it from this locator we are trying to use all inner text this will give you list of a string so i'll say okay fine this is my text list that i have captured import your uh, list from java.util and then when you capture this text list and then you really want to iterate you can iterate it with the help of any loop for each loop or streams so let's say i'm going to use the for each loop with text list and then print the value of e here perfect let's see this is working or not so the concept here is this i'm using contains with the text function and then iterating the values so let's see this is uh, working or not so here you can see on the console yeah see it's giving you all those links it's giving you 21 links because the application is so dynamic so see all the links are having amazon in it amazon ignite sell your original digital documentation resources amazon web services computing services amazon subscription and everything it's written like that right so the concept here is that i can use contains text i can use the starts with anything i can directly use it over here okay the normal expert that we use it now let's do a uh, one thing does it really support the expert sibling concept for example let's see this is the web table that i have and i'm going to create one expert sibling so you can see this is the see i'll show you once again what you do is that you just let's see i want to select the checkbox of joy root only this particular checkbox so how will you do this so in this case you can see there is one link this guy let me inspect this guy joy root so joy root is having a so i'll say okay fine a is the joy root so i'll say double slash a and then i'm going to use a text function here that is a text is equal to joy root which is pointing to this now i have to go to its parent td so i'm going to use one forward slash and then i'm going to use parent colon colon td it means you go to the, its immediate parent and from this immediate parent where exactly you want to go I want to go to its where the preceding sibling or following sibling because following sibling is having ECESS text the user rule I want to go to its preceding sibling where the checkbox input checkbox is there so I'll go there so how will you go there I'm going to use preceding sibling colon colon TD so it has reached here and under this TD there is one input that is a child element input so now I'm going to use single slash input and if you really want to define some property of this input you can say that type equal to checkbox it means I'm going to write at the rate type equal to checkbox okay so if you are already know how to create the xpath and everything please watch that video I'll share the video with you that's very important because if you know xpath you can work with any UI automation tool right so I'll do one thing let me just comment it out this one and then I'm going to use uh, a new locator that I'm going to create that so I'm saying okay fine this is your page dot uh, locator and see this is the expert that I'm going to use and then do what dot click method I'm going to use it click on this particular checkbox and the URL is this so copy this URL and then you simple paste it over here so let's see it is clicking on joy root or not so run as java application so what i'm saying is this will work for any kind of xpath with playwright so you can see that page is loading and joy root got selected here can you see joy root got selected this is so nice okay you can use following sibling also preceding sibling and can start any xpath access that you want to create you can use that you can use the concept of indexing also so I'll show you one concept of indexing as well. So let's say I want to collect all the checkboxes. I want to select all the checkboxes. How will you do that? You can see that, yeah, this is an input checkbox. This is, okay, in every TD, there is an input checkbox is available. You can see that this is also input checkbox, right? So in this particular table, if you see that, if you just scroll it up, 
and uh, you directly let's see, inspect this particular first checkbox this checkbox is actually coming under table so this is entire table is represented by table id equal to this so i'll do one thing that i'm going to create that i'm looking for a table where at the rate id equal to this and then give me all the input checkboxes right you can see input type equal to checkbox so i'll do one thing that okay fine that double slash because input is not directly associated with the table it's a grandchild element so if you have a direct association then i'll be using single slash then i'm saying okay fine give me all the input where uh, at the rate type equal to uh, checkbox so see it's giving you one of seven seven checkboxes will be collected you can write a loop and then you can just keep clicking on dot click dot click that also you can do that so let's take this example also and then i'll give you an example of let me just comment it out then i'll give you an example of indexing as well so let's say i want to select all the checkboxes how will you do this i simple write page dot or locator and then this is the locator that i have captured this will give you the complete collection so i'm just going to store inside the let's see check uh, boxes collection that i have captured and then it will be very simple from this particular checkboxes what exactly you want so now i'm going to write a for loop see this i'm going to write integer i equal to zero and i less than what it means all these checkboxes up to the count of these checkboxes keep increasing the loop by i plus plus and then from every checkbox what you do from every checkbox remember this method nth index method you go to the i index and then do a dot click that's it so what will happen it will keep clicking on each and every checkbox okay from this particular locator which is actually created from this particular checkbox uh, this particular x path of the checkboxes i have created under this particular table so let's see this is working or not so run as java application okay so the page is loaded this page is slightly slow but let's see see all the checkboxes got selected this is so nice perfect so remember this thing here we are not getting list of web elements so i'm not going to use any direct for each loop here because this is not list so i'm going to use a typical index based loop i equal to zero up to the count of this particular you know total number of uh, elements are there in this particular locator and then i plus plus and then you have to use nth method you have to use it which is actually coming from playwright only which will be applied on the locator locator dot nth of i locator so i equal to zero first checkbox then second checkbox then third checkbox right so likewise you can use this now i'll do one thing that okay fine that this is the count of seven we are getting it now i really want to select the specific checkbox so i'll just collect everything inside the capture in a capture group like this so i'll store inside the capture group so i'll put the uh, round bracket like this opening bracket and closing bracket over here and then you can write the position function index also you can write it, it means you go to the third index See, it is pointing to the third index i can say okay now you go to the last index so you can use the last function also this is pointing to the last one i can use the position function also so you can write a position function is equal to four so this pointing to a joy root here that is a fourth checkbox so last index a specific number also you can directly pass you really want to pass the index directly so you can say okay fine you go to the first index the first one is the username that also it will work fine so you can use the indexing concept also here with the playwright checkboxes without any problem so let me just show you uh, that example as well so i'll say okay fine this is my uh, page dot locator and then first you select the first checkbox and then do a dot click and then i'll do one thing then you select the last checkbox also so in xpath we have a last function actually what you can do see i'll show you here you put a square bracket and then go to the last one this is actually out of the collection it means out of seven you go to the last one so that's why it is pointing to the last checkbox you can see kevin matthews checkbox gods will be selected okay so you go to the first one and then you select this particular checkbox also okay if you want to write you can write like this also guys xpath equal to also you can write it but this is we are not comfortable with that so you can ignore that so as a prefix also you can write it now let's see it is actually working or not
okay so let's see it should select the first and the last one so see the first checkbox is this and the last checkbox got selected here okay you can pass two to select the gary white okay perfect so this is absolutely working fine so any kind of expert you can create which is absolutely 100% supported by uh, playwright but the syntax is almost same i mean syntax wise of xpath is exactly same there is no rocket science only thing is that you have to use with double quotes or you can write like this also as i told you earlier that you can create the xpath with the xpath also like this xpath equal to also you can use it like this see let me just show you once again if you're writing with xpath equal to because i don't want that tomorrow you're joining a company where people are already using playwright and they're using xpath equal to so don't get confused with that so this is absolutely working fine over here as well. Okay, so XPath is a very important locator. Sometimes, especially in the web table handling or something or pagination concept or dynamic elements handling, you can use XPath, contains function also, you can use that. Text function, everything you can use, absolutely fine here. Okay, so I would advise you to go to YouTube, okay? And then you watch this particular video. This video already crossed uh, 540k views, 5 lakh 40 thousand people they have already seen this particular video. Go and then check that you will become master in XPath. That is my guarantee for sure. And then you can work with any kind of automation tool. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching the video automation labs. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.